what's going on everybody king cheese here back with another minecraft video and this is going to be my first minecraft video that i've made i got some new software i'm going to test it out today and all of you guys already know what today's video is going to be about because you read the title or clicked the clicked because of the thumbnail but before we get into the main event of today i'm just gonna say a little bit about what i've done I have made the docking ring for the build here, and this is on Bedrock Edition, and some of you guys may not like Bedrock, but I honestly think that I'm fine with building in Bedrock. It's, it's no different than Java for me, but I just enjoy Bedrock. But I will be releasing a tutorial on how to build this if we get this video to 100 likes. So be sure to like the video and tell all your friends so you can build this falcon for yourself in your own world. And it's made mostly out of stone because it gives it a nice gray color. So you might be able to do it in survival, which I may do in my personal survival world. But without further ado, let's get into it. So this is going to load up. It shouldn't take too long, but this is on the Nintendo Switch version. And my username is obviously King Cheese, which is why I stated that in the beginning of the video. But here we are, and it's a barren wasteland here. But if we are to turn around slowly, we reveal a big build here. It doesn't look as cool on the outside, obviously. But as soon as we come in, here is the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. I did 100% of this. Nobody helped me out, although one of my friends did try to blow this up once. But it is saved, and here it is for your eyes to see. And I just went off of Lego pictures, legit movie photos, to see every possible angle of this Falcon here. And I am just so proud of this build and I'm so happy that I get to show you guys this build today and I hope you enjoy it so if you want to see more content like this please consider subscribing but before we get on to the Falcon let's just take a look at the docking ring it shouldn't take too long but obviously we've got little lights there for when it becomes night which I set it to always day so it will not but I can set it to night eventually and I have sand in different colors to give it a nice sort of basic texture and we have chains to act as strings with levers so it looks like they're hanging from the walls and we have some cracks and crevices all around and we do have the openings that all the characters can come through and all sorts of stuff we have crates of some sort I didn't really have anything in mind I mean we have a little pilot's helmet in this one but then they're just some stacked up, and they obviously, they just don't lead to anything. I mean, I can press the button, there, nothing is inside. But now we can get on to the Falcon, and around the outside, I used polished basalt and stone cutters and levers, really. I mean, there's a few buttons there, but it's really just slabs that bring it out. And here we have some stone cutters and levers for the little port here. And around the back, the chains may look a little funny, but if you look at it the correct way, they look like the Millennium Falcon's engines, even though the Sea Lantern doesn't fully connect with the chains. And around the other side, it's almost symmetrical. The buttons and just levers, chains, buttons, and things are always going to be asymmetrical on this Falcon because I want just basically for it to be asymmetrical in all of the wires because the real falcon isn't symmetrical but here we have a little port on as well as the other side it's the exact same and for none of this falcon did i use commands this is all built by hand 100 percent by me and we have a cockpit here which i'll get to in a moment and around the sides here we just have more more polished basalt and we have some levers which are holding up a trap door, so there's some glowstone in there. Same on the other side. And on the inside here is that little notch where Lando installed the escape pod in Solo. 
And then you just have this big slab that goes up with te technical tubes and pipes and things. Just really trying to make this look movie accurate, so I did. And there's obviously a satellite, and I'm quite proud of how the satellite turned out. It's just as close to the movie as I can be, and I used, obviously, if you can tell, I like stone cutters. They are just such a cool block. But moving on to the top here, we have some red nether brick, which I like to use for the red plating. But then we have the turrets, and I've gone into, I actually have a book of cross sections about all the Star Wars ships, so I figured out the exact dimensions, size, and where the pistons and where all the weight would go, which is what makes this so accurate and awesome, really. But that's, I have anvils here because those are where the pistons and things really would be. And the levers, all these levers and buttons don't do anything. Once again, they're just for show. And they are just meant to be the one side. But we have stone cutters for the little flared ends at the ends of the turrets. And at the back, we have some unpolished basalt with rails on top of them to look like those black vents on the top of the back of the falcon and obviously there's little a bunch more buttons on the back i don't know why there's more boxes on the back but you know i didn't create the falcon i'm just recreating it in a blocky form and around here we do have some holes in the falcon and the black spaces here i used black concrete powder and then over here i used polished black stone and some gray concrete it really just depends upon the shading that's in the hole there because it goes deeper and deeper into the falcon each hole does so each hole has a different shade of black which i basically have to critique in block form but around to the very back of the falcon as you saw before there are fins on the back and none of them are red as some of you may think but there are definitely all these tubes and things. It was quite fun to just do the finishing touches to the tubes. And this project has taken me several months to complete because the first Millennium Falcon I created was an oval shape. So I had to completely redo the Falcon, which is why I am so proud of this because I have spent countless hours staring at a screen to bring this to you guys and I really hope you enjoy it and if you don't get out of here this is amazing but on the underside of it we have some legs and I tried to replicate them with pistons and wires as well as possible and there are also some lights which are also movie accurate but they are more low to the ground than they are high because I looked in my cross-sections book, and they are definitely lower than, than up shin high, or waist high. But there is the little ring, which I used fence gates for, and we can close them. It would give you sort of the same effect, but I prefer open, because that's just how I am. And stone cutters, once again, are being used for the pistons, and if you use them up or down, they connect to both sides of the block, which I think is just amazing once again it's my favorite block and then we we have to have the turret on the underside if you don't have the turret on the underside of a millennium falcon it's not a millennium falcon and here comes the issue this here looks like it's on one block but when you take another look turns out there's two fence posts there's two gates here so this was the real challenge because i had to create a two block wide foot on a one block because my Millennium Falcon is on an even based circle. So, I mean, it was quite hard, but I am quite proud how simple the solution was with stairs being placed upside down and the normal stairs being placed right side up. And then it's just the fence post, the little fence gates around and stairs and boom, it's done. But that covers everything on the outside, and there's obviously lights underneath so it can light up at night. But 
everything on the outside is done, so let's take a look at the Majestic inside. And obviously, these two are little pillars that should come down, and they should attach to the little balcony that comes out here. So, I'll just fill this in real quick. But then we can walk up this ramp, and there's obviously buttons which lead to absolutely nothing. But there are those pads on netherite blocks. This may be a little bit of a bummer, so you may just, if you're doing this in a survival world, you may just want to opt out and choose black concrete or black terracotta of some sort. But I like blocks of netherite because it gives it that square shape. But there are little pads in the Falcon as well that look like this. Any of you Star Wars fans would definitely know what the inside of the Falcon looks like, and it would have those types of pads. But it th this is this fully decked out interior. I've looked at the cross sections book multiple times to get this right. And here is the gunner's area. The gun the guns are sideways, but the seats are basically upside down. It looks like the seats go up and down. They go th they go left to right, not up and down. But there is a little control stick, but I honestly don't like flipping it because it just ruins the effect of the chairs but the chairs isn't really the best part of it the best part's really this main room where you've got pipes poking out of the walls you've got the little tech closet that's shown in the empire strikes back you've got so much technology poking out of the walls it's amazing and then we have the digeric game board here on a netherite block these netherite blocks have so much square texture it, on a black block is just a dream, con a dream come true to me. And obviously you have to have these little couches and obviously still more tech because the Falcon is not the in pristine condition, obviously, if you've seen the movies. And then this chair design, you can see this is a headrest here and this is just the backrest. But this is Han's chair and if this video gets a hundred likes I will give you the tutorial as well as a tutorial to build these chairs yes I'll be doing the interior as well but you've got all these little buttons and switches and I like these red and blue buttons from the 1.16 nether update so if you don't have if you play on an edition that's not supported by Mojang anymore then you can just use oak buttons because they look just as good but moving on let's go around to the back we have some little levers which are supposed to be holding up lights but it's not portrayed very well I mean I will say that but we have sliding doors which are open here and we walk in and there's a sort of refrigerator washing machine looking thing I'm not sure why this is in here but there's lights on the other side as well as pistons and whatnot over here and this is a randomizer that I created an in inter tutorial I will show you how to do it if this video gets 100 likes so be sure to like the video and subscribe if you want more content like this but there's just wires and that's one of the vents at the top there there's not much in this room it's just a piston room that was included from the cross sections book but there's more wires, a light, and over here we have the access port on the other side. So if I were to break through this wall, I would pop out the other end on that little stone cutter circular port thing that I showed you before. And then we've made a full circle, well, almost a full, full circle, around the Falcon, which brings us back to the living room area. But... The last part of the Falcon is my favorite, and almost every Star Wars fan's favorite, the cockpit. So, this obviously has those standard chairs with the headrest and everything, but the pilot's chairs don't actually have that. So, I just had to leave off the helmet, and then there's lever, the hyperdrive shift here, some more buttons, some control sticks, and even more buttons for you guys to press and they obviously do absolutely nothing they're useless they're just for show but you always if you're building something like this from star wars 
put buttons that are different colors black blue and red and everything in between because you can just use an acacia button if you want and it looks much better than a blue button sometimes but it really just depends but that's everything inside this falcon so i'll give you guys one last look around before i end the video and i will be working on the tutorial as those the number of likes add up so once we hit a hundred likes i will release the tutorial and the tutorial will be silent so some of you may be relieved so you don't have to hear my god-awful voice but it will just be silent during the tutorial but i will end this video with a full 360 of the falcon in silence so you guys can take screenshots or anything if you want to take some advice from the design of the falcon here but yeah thank you guys for watching <laughs>